What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back to a Process of Elimination. If you are watching this in the playlist, well, I guess almost no time has, changed, has passed for you, but for anybody who uh, is like, well, why is this suddenly popping back up on the channel? AJ, you haven't played this since, uh, I want to say, April. Well, you know, I'm playing Master Detective Archives. Games are pretty similar. I want to do, uh, like, a, you know, like I said, uh, that last video, I kind of want to do visual novels today, and, uh, yeah, we're going to keep playing this. Uh, we're still in the first case. It, it's just been a lot of setup. Um, still waiting for the, you know, the actual, my meat to start, but, uh, let's get reading. Uh, after receiving directions from Ideal Detective, the others take their leave from the basement to begin their investigations. We had been divided into teams of three, leading, uh, leaving Ideal Detective, Armored Detective, and myself with the crime scene. Ideal Detective appears uh, to be deep in thought, so I decided to join Armored Detective in examining the body. True to the, quarant uh, the quartering Duke's name, the victim's head, arms, and legs have all been sever severed away from the torso. The more I look, the more horrific the manner of death appears. It's so savage. Can't believe the culprit is even human. But the cruel truth is inescapable. What lies before us is the depraved work of not a monster, but a person. For some reason, I don't remember there being a voice track to this game. Uh, sir Incompetent, even if the culprit used a wire, do these cross sections of the corpse not appear too clean to you? Dumbman? cross sections grudgingly I take a closer look at the severed parts they've been cut so perfectly straight it seems unnatural surely a human body can be that easy to slice clean through well I mean if you go with the joints probably wouldn't be that hard I like the picture for overly clean cut no matter how keen a wire's edge may be, by no means could mere human strength saw through a limb in one smooth stroke. When cutting paper with scissors, the blade's path shifts each time you part and join them, does it not? True, and the more you try to correct it, the more misshapen it gets, if only subtly. I'm, I'm gonna let the Japanese play out, then read, so I'm not talking over them. Wait, so then the culprit didn't use human strength? but rather some other method to wind the wire around Senior Detective. De Another method? Of course, this could only mean... It could only mean... I haven't the faintest clue. <laughs> Me neither. Both of our shoulders droop. I mean, if you hit an artery while the uh, while the heart is still pumping, yeah, you could get uh, you could get like splatter. Come to think of it, why is blood dripping from the ceiling? Does human blood have the force to spray that high into the air? I guess I should have read that before I made that comment, but eh, whatever. Huh. You're right. The whole ceiling splattered red. What could have caused that? Eureka! Did you figure you did you figure something out, Armor? Indeed, I have determined. 
that we are woefully unfit for this task. Twould seem mystery solving is far beyond our ken. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> you don't mince words, do you? Is there a... No, no auto text. Or uh, no auto text. What am I thinking? I'm like, is there, is there an English track? For the love of God. True to his appearance, armor really does seem to fall on the bronze end of the spectrum. It takes all kinds to be a detective, I guess. However, being that I'm the top suspect in this case. His candor and utter lack of suspicion are a total relief. Though he does strike me as a kind of an enigma, somehow. I see you've managed to relax a bit, incompetent. Oh, this music's dope. I think I keep saying that. Just, there are so many games I've been playing lately that have just had really great music. I'm glad that deer in the headlights look from before is melted away. Though I suppose it did have its charm. Were you able to sort out whatever was on your mind, ideal? Yes, I've nearly deduced every element of this case. All that's left is to have the rest of you set to work finding the evidence. We've only just started and she's already pieced together the truth of the situation. Intellect like hers, it's no wonder she's the de facto head and the second highest ranked member of the DA. If I may, Lady Ideal, wherefore did you station me- er, oh. Wherefore did you station me here? I scarcely believe you would require my assistance. Is where? I thought wherefore is just a fancy way of saying where is something. Not why. I'm, I'm gonna guess that was a translation issue. Localization, pick your term. Correct. Frankly, I have low expectations of you, Armor, as far as your powers of deduction are concerned. Ideal gives a quick, straightforward reply to the point where it's almost impressive. However, thought she was done. However, no one defends others with as much sincerity as you. Your personality impacts the team far more than you realize. It's because Incompetent feels comfortable around you that he's able to tackle the case with a calm mind. Isn't that right? I nod. She's hit the nail on the head. I'm much more at ease now than when everyone was clustered around me earlier. It's probably due to how much I already trust Armor as well as how confident I am that he would protect me from danger. No, if I'm being honest, there's nothing more in here worth examining at this stage. Come again? So all of our investigative efforts were for nothing. However, that is precisely why I can say with certainty that you were uh, that you were on the right track. Wonderfully done, both of you. With another detective skilled in deduction around, I'm sure you would have picked up on a multitude of other points. Our success lies in teamwork. Consider how much progress was made by combining your strengths, rather than working alone. 
さを理解してくれると思ったからこそ君たちには私のそばに残ってもらったんだよ I kept you here with me because I was positive that you would understand how crucial this concept can be Ideal detective's voice brushes against us with a gentle comfort At this moment, I see her not as our mature, mysterious leader but for the young girl she is as if her mask has slipped off Now then, let's give the other detectives their next instructions, and stick close if you would. I wish to avoid moving alone. With that, Ideal Detective leads us out of the basement. Hmm. There's an area soul before the passageway. Where could the other detectives have gone to investigate? Perhaps you should try using the map function on your D pad. As she speaks, Ideal Detective shows us the screen of her own device. Ah, finally we're seeing this. This is a map of the manor. See how each detective's position is marked? Anyone who has the location sharing feature turned on will appear here. It sets on by default, but there are times you may prefer to turn it off, such as when visiting the restroom. Incredible, you can see where everybody is at just a glance. Hmm, but I do not spy Lady Downtown, Sir Workaholic, or Lady Rowdy. Indeed, I asked them to stand guard outside. There's a possibility the culprit may have fled there, you see. But it was done. What? Then let us sally forth as well. We cannot allow the fair maidens to stroll about outside whilst the killer is on the prowl. I like that word, prowl. Moments after shouting this, Armor Detective rushes towards the entrance. Off he goes. Eh, with Workaholic and Rowdy, there should be fine. Well, let's leave him be. There are some things I wanted to tell you alone anyway, incompetent. Ideal Detective continues her explanation. Okay, so before we keep going, this is the screen that really got me interested in this game all the way back when I saw the demo, when I, because I I knew it was going to be kind of a Danganronpa sort of visual novel style detective game. But then I see this, and there's stats for each of the detectives and their investigation, their movement, their this, that, and the other thing. So it kind of looks like a like a board game, almost like a game of Clue is playing out in this area. So I'm really curious to see how this, uh, how this work, how the screen works. The map has three additional features. First is the marking function, which flags mystery points, locations the detectives find dubious. Try checking these marked points if your investigation stalls out. Now, do you see how that one spot on the map is a different color? Evidence 
that is a location I personally deem suspicious, an evidence square. You can assume these areas contain hidden evidence. <laughs> Finally, there's the share action function, used by each individual to share uh, whatever it is they're currently up to. As a demonstration, let's try moving the cursor over to Bookworm Detective. You should immediately be able to tell what she's doing. Okay, a detective's next action, such as infer or inspect, will be displayed overhead. Uh, hover the cursor over the detective to see what they intend to move next. She has an odd feeling about the fireplace. Bookworm truly does have a good sense for this, but I doubt she'll figure it out by herself. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess how this works because I was thinking this was more of a board game. Like we choose how to move the characters around the map. The way she's kind of talking, it, it sounds like these characters actually all kind of have their own decision. How to, how to phrase it. it. It's not that we're like choosing, okay, uh, I have, I can move six tiles and go here or whatever. The way I'm going to, I'm going to guess real quick, because I'm going to stand up and go grab a bottle of water real quick, is that what we're doing, what we're actually doing is more we're kind of managing our efforts. Like we're teaming them up and we're kind of like calling the shots from this map. It, 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 it's not like we're having direct control, but we have influence, if that makes sense. Alright, so, what is she saying? Uh, so here's a question for you, incompetent. What would you do if you encountered a mystery you couldn't solve on your own? Well, I'm gonna guess you want me to say, ask for help. <laughs> Your experience just now is already paying off. I like people who are quick on the uptake. The two of us are in accord. When faced with a problem you cannot solve alone, you must seek aid from your companions. But detectives are such prideful creatures, and sadly, most conduct their investigations alone, so they lack experience collaborating. I like how the infer action, what it's, it's like Sherlock Holmes with the pipe and the hat. It's not subtle, but it didn't have to be. <laughs> what I've seen so far, Bookworm is one such example. Encouraging her to cooperate would likely be pointless. So what should I do then? Ideal Detective answers me with a smile. You should intervene on their investigation, that is. Intervene? In other words, use the D-pad to instruct them to do something other than their current task. Mystic is nearby, so he'll suffice. Let's have him make his way to Bookworm so they can investigate together. Now, issue the command if you would. freeze up as she casually orders me to do something completely unexpected. Why so stiff? Honestly, you're too cute. I'm merely asking you to pretend to be me and give some direction. That's all. I really like her. That's 
all, what Ideal Detective is asking for isn't so easy to just gloss over. Even so, her expression remains dead serious. It'll be fine. Like sending an email. Here's my D-pad. Try issuing a command to him. Uh, uh, but, but why me? Facing the unknown is precisely what a detective is obliged, oh, uh, sorry, is precisely what a detective is obligated to do. Everything is a chance to gain experience, so go on. Doesn't seem like I can back out of this. I'll just have to give it, uh, I'll just have to try giving some instructions. Intervene with detectives to reassign uh, their independently planned actions. Detectives left on their own devices will make errors, investigate alone, and generally act inefficiently. Okay, so like I was saying, I, I was I was say so it's kind of a co combo of what I was saying and um what I was thinking it was gonna be how to, how to phrase that like when I originally saw this like I thought we were gonna have like direct control over the the characters moving about kind of like units and a tile based strategy game but then I thought for a second okay well maybe we're just influencing them and they're still kind of choosing to move on their own now it's kind of from the way it's being described here it sounds like it's kind of a combination of the two without us intervening they're just kind of gonna do whatever on their own, you know, whatever they see fit, and it might not work as well as if I team them up. To have Mr. cooperate with Bookworm, simply move him to the spot beside her. Nine hours remain until did it say until annihilation? That's that's kind of depressing. Okay, so we can we we can see his skills. So we have. Inference, analyzation, inspection, assistance, and movement. Well, movement is pretty obvious. Assistance is, I'm guessing, how well they can assist another detective. Inference is obviously how you infer something. And analyzation is how you analyze. Which, I guess, are kind of the same thing. Yeah, an inspection. Yeah, they're all kind of the same? But not exactly. So everybody's got their own stats. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. It's like beep, 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 beep. Take a look. See how even with both their inference values combined, they're unable to solve the mystery of that fireplace? So you took me back. At times like these, you should give a command to a detective who is skilled at assisting. Uh, detectives are able to assist each other uh, from adjacent positions. Any character who is making an inference already or plans to do so can be assisted. Uh, assisting lets you add a helper's assistant value to the individual's inference value. Okay. Utilize the command properly to keep your investigation on track. Okay. So this, this is cool. It's not just your typical mystery visual novel where you have to find all the clues and then figure out how to connect them in your trial or whatever. If you're playing Ace Attorney, you're playing Danganronpa, you're playing whatever. This one, there's actually kind of like a strategy and management element to your investigation. That's kind of cool. I'm guessing... Okay, so what? His assistance is 8. Her inference is 6. So that'd be 14. Or her 4. His inference of 5 would be 9. So... He has to assist her inference. 
nicely instructed. I'm impressed. I can already feel that their powers of inference have been enhanced. Now they should easily discover whatever the fireplace is hiding. Alright, let's check the entrance hall next. This is really cool. Uh, th this, this is really neat. I, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, it almost... Again, I, I like I can, I'm comparing it to almost like a game of Clue, even though I have not played that game in the longest time and can barely remember how the hell it's played. But it, it doesn't feel like your typical VN. It's really odd. I and I like it. I like because I like visual novels, but I like it if we can add some other gameplay elements to it. Kind of like how Digimon Survive added the um, tile-based kind of like uh, Fire Emblem combat. Posh is keeping the area near the chandelier all to herself. Gourmet and doleful arm holding back to give her space. Oh. Sorry, I forgot I was going to let the Japanese play out. Holding back, however, is unacceptable. In an investigation, let's have Gourmet assist Posh with investigating the chandelier. Mystery point has a set amount of resolution points. Okay, so it's kind of like a, 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 essentially it's a check that you have to have either high enough stats or stats plus assistance. You can uncover an MP seeker by reducing its RP to zero, advancing the investigation. Try having gourmet detective assist, uh, posh detective to reveal the MP's hidden. Oh, okay, so it also, I'm guessing so the turn or whatever at the end of the at the end of the turn if we if, if let's say she didn't complete that six points i'm gonna guess that mp still reduces so you can complete it after the next turn but it's like they said it's inefficient it's actually more efficient if you team up okay so her inference is two means you'd need an assistance of at least four. I love the sound of them moving. Okay, so it looks like they can complete two actions. They can move and then another action. Hence the little line covering it. So now we can, ins now we can assist. Excellent. You're a quick study, it seems. Now, what should we have Doleful do? Do you know what skill he excels at? Doleful skilled at... Being timid and afraid. Yeah, discovering evidence. <laughs> Precisely. He has a wonderful observant eye. Indispensable in a detective. Doleful's key, Doleful's key characteristic is that he always draws danger to himself. As a result, he's more predisposed to finding clues. Let's have Doleful use that special trait of his to inspect the area near the chandelier. I'm willing to bet there's a clue left behind there. Evidence squares contain evidence within. Detectives can find these hidden uh, clues by performing an inspection. An inspection range, uh, range varies within the individual inspection value. Uh, for example, Doleful is able to inspect up to five squares away. Oh, okay, so inspection is a distance. Okay, so that one's not a check. That one is a... It's literally a... I can't speak. It, it's, it's a distant like a like a radius bravo that was an ideal command you gave i'm swelling with pride 
Alright, that's enough warming up. It's time to raise the curtains on this detective show. Give the order to start the investigation and keep an eye on the passage of time. Once the detective's actions are set, press uh, plus to activate or to access the main menu and select investigate or preliminary. Upon selecting investigate, the detectives you command uh, the detectives you have intervened with will follow your commands, while the rest will act independently. In a preliminary investigation, only those you have intervened with will act. It is wise to begin with this, as it can uncover new mysteries or clues. While we haven't intervened with Techie, there isn't much to do, so let's start the investigation anyways. Okay. I'm liking this so far. This is interesting. So, so far on the evidence list, we have the overly clean cut and the bloodstained ceiling. We don't know much about what to do with those yet. So, let's do our investigation. Okay, time to inspect this area. Here I go. Yeah. Damn it! The voice is so quiet in my headset under the vo uh, under the music. God, I tripped again. Huh? Part of the carpet's been cut off. I wonder why. Why should I cooperate with you? I can handle this alone. Thank you very much. I, for I, I, I forgot about her massive personality. Now, now, a fine cut of meat is even tastier with the right seasonings, yes. In other words, Posh, you can use me to spice up your deductions. What? Nah, this... this... I don't know why this sentence feels very uncomfortable. That's a fair point. Very well, enhance my flavor, gourmet. And this is cool how the investigation then triggers the VN scenes. The chandelier is all nicked up. Posh, can you take a look at this? Huh? These scratches. Could they be a hint to how the culprit killed Senior Detective? Kind of like they hung his body up there and then used his weight to kind of like have the wires uh, sever him at the joints. So instead of actually using muscle power, they just used this weight to do it. And I'm sorry, I was talking over her. Why must I investigate with you? Asked the girl, her lips pouting in dissatisfaction. Don't say that. Think of this as a chance to learn from your father. Hearths do hold a rustic charm, though having to add the firewood every time is a bit of a hassle. Or what? That's it. Or, uh, I mean, <clears throat> so, oh, that's it. Muse. Oh my God, this is this is gonna drive me nuts. And just having to wait, and I can't just read. Um, I don't know. I uh, tell me, do you mind if I read over the Japanese cast, uh, the Japanese voice, or whatever? I I don't know. So that's it. Muse, the girl, finally pinning down what seems to miss. Oh, 
Your directions have truly made a difference in how well the investigation is progressing. When I arrived, you pushed the others to work together. It was remarkably, remarkably pertinent of you. The key difference between detectives and the police is that while we may be an organization, we solve cases alone rather than together. To put it unkindly, detectives see themselves as the lead role of an investigation. Thus, our capability as a team of experts goes unrealized. If we're to take on the quartering duke, we can't abide reckless behavior. Let's you and I take the lead in encouraging everyone to collaborate. How could someone like me do that? There's no way any of those detectives would follow what I say. Plus, they don't even need me. I feel detective alone should be able to hold them together. Your tendency to downplay yourself is a virtue, but also a weakness. You will be forced to address someday. Ideal Detective speaks as though she can see into my very soul. Leaders who make history are often said to be cowards, likely because they fixated not on their potential, but their limits. Know your weaknesses, and in time, you will know all your strengths. I'm confident you will go through this as well, incompetent. I still don't like being called incompetent. Why do you have so much faith in me? She opens her eyes wide, fretting over something with an unfocused gaze. I'd say I can't tell you yet. That would be selfish of me, wouldn't it? I should let you know some. Uh, I should let you know before something happens. The true reason I called you here, that is. The elusive air around here feels tense. I'm frozen in place as her hydrangea hued eyes stare at me. My heart is hammering and my body feels hot all over. Incompetent. My name is. What? Run, incompetent! Huh? At that moment, a powerful force crushes me. My vision goes black. Someone suddenly leaps on my back, taking me to the floor. My head spins, sparks explode behind my eyes, and my consciousness grows hazy. Through it all, I can feel a strong pressure on my throat. Gah. Oh shit. Can I rever can I reverse? Sorry, I I tapped the fast forward button. Essentially we were getting stabbed. Or choked, whatever. Are you alright, incompetent? Whoa. What in the world are you thinking, renegade detective? God damn it, how do how do I turn that off? Okay, so what, um, as my voice slips out, I finally realize someone's strangling me, my mind starts to fade. Sorry, guys, I accidentally turned 
デバイスとにらめっこばかりして。ああ、damn it!、Um, turn off your D pad's location sharing and you can pull off many ambushes as you want. Way I did just now. I wanted to show you the dangers of burying your head in the device,、uh, how easily you can slip and lose your footing. Forgive me, Holmes. Shazai Sura I take a chiga. Kono Muno Tante Fukaku. Shin Shimi. Kokoro Kara Wabiro. Sumia Kanida. Samo Nakereba. Kimi no Kubi no Omamori Ga Hazerzo. You're talking to the wrong person. Incompetent here deserves a deep, sincere apology. Hurry now, or that charm on your neck will pop. So, yeah, sorry about that fast forwarding. I, I hit some. I hit the wrong button. Okay, okay. You send you your matching at the day. Sorry. Okay, okay. Got my priorities screwed up. Sorry. I want to see. Wanna... Okay, okay. Oh. You send you your matching at the day. Oh, you press X, they. Repeat the line. Y opens that. B gets rid of the. Okay. Sorry, I was thinking about using stuff for thumbnails and how I could maybe get rid of the UI. That's why I hit that button on accident. <laughs>、uh, the lanky man has a nonchalant air about him. He turns to me wearing a fake smile. The name's Renegade Detective. I'm a virtuous investigator with a penchant for practical jokes. My favorite phrase is world peace, and I spend my free time volunteering. Hope we can get along. Your conversier. I was trying to combine like four words into one there. Your conversation was so serious, I just had to butt in with some levity. My bad. Can you ever forgive me? You will, won't you? Thanks. He prattles on with his apology, finishing up with a cackle. I'm startled when I notice a line of blood dripping down my neck. Is it really funny to choke someone so hard that your nails rip their skin? I was genuinely prepared to die. How far is this guy willing to take a joke? Is he talking about autoerotic asphyxiation? Come on, don't look so scared. Didn't he give you that tingling feeling? And now he's beaming at me, face flushed with joy. Of all the detectives I've met, this is by far the most incomprehensible. As fickle as ever, but this time you've gone too far. Do so again, and I will exercise my authority as chief to restrain you. Ideal Detective's voice grows harsher, and she steps up to Renegade Detective. Renegade jokingly leaps back in an overdramatic fashion. Oh, absolutely, dear Holmes. I sure would hate to be so inconvenienced. <laughs> Your word is my command. So, what is. So, is she supposedly like. the. like. In this world, is Sherlock Holmes a real person and she's a descendant? Is that what, is that what they're doing? Because he's using Holmes in the, you know, proper noun way. I'll hold you to that. 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 Now, tell us what you have gathered about this case. I take it that you too have seen the truth of the matter. Renegade's eyes grow wide. He sighs. You got me. Yeah, I did feel a bit out of character the way you got so upset. You plan to make me swear I'd cooperate from the very start, huh? 
Of course, only second rate detectives are controlled by their emotions. The finest use them as a weapon. Ideal detective smiles in triumph. So her harsh tone just now was a lie. I was completely fooled. Oh well, it was worth to see a rare glimpse of your fury. So fine, I'll share my thoughts with you. This case is too transparently pure. So boring, it makes me nauseous. The culprit must be so self-satisfied. There's no beauty in it. Not in the least. Killing should be ugly, beyond redemption, gnarled by emotion, oozing, cloudy, grimy. That's what makes it so fascinating. What are you talking about? His words are utter non his words are utter nonsense. What's more, he says it also casually, as if he's telling a joke. Just listening to him makes my skin crawl. I'm not equipped to understand the person standing before me. Even the scene of the murder was less chilling than him. <laughs> No need for guesswork. It's all plain as day. Check out that scrap of carpet. If my theory is right, some evidence should be left there. Better show me a good time, oh future legend. And with that, Renegade Detective taps my, sh taps my shoulder and departs. A rather peculiar detective, that one. Y yeah, it was like... I stopped myself just in time. It was like talking to a villain, but I obviously can't say that. It's like talking to a villain, right? Ideal detective speaks my thoughts for me without reservation. Your intuition is spot on. As a matter of fact, he killed his mother and father with his very own hands during his youth. He's an actual murderer? His own parents, too. How is someone like that even in the Detective Alliance? It doesn't matter if he did it as a kid. Letting him have this much freedom is unimaginable. Why he was let into the Alliance, I just can't fathom. It makes me suspect that he might even be the quartering Duke. The reason is simple. No detective understands homicidal maniacs. Better than he does. He's been granted a degree of freedom on the condition that he uses his unique skills to work with the Detective Alliance. Although his deductive power is on par with my own, his personality stops him from working with others, keeping him at rank 4. He's the most unorthodox detective in the world, a real renegade, as true to his alias as can be. Again, I find myself astounded by the, uh, by the diversity within the DA's personnel. Despite his past, he must be an outstanding detective now. 
did give us advice, after all, and if he's terrifying, he surely has a talent for detective work. I'll just have to find a way to trust him. I whisper this to myself as if doing so will cloud the dark thoughts clouding my mind. Will clear the dark thoughts clouding my mind. This is taking up more time than expected. Let's move on to the meat of the investigation. Renegade told us to inspect the scrap of carpet that had been discovered. A careful analysis of evidence like this can help move a case along, potentially revealing new evidence squares. Okay, so inferring is essentially figure so figuring something out, you know, kind of looking at something and figuring out what happened again. So, so it's, like I said, it's, it's obviously inferring, but while analyzing is actually looking at the evidence and, you know, actually, like, doing tests on the specific evidence and then whatever uh, the third one was, I can't remember off the top of my head, is investigate, is actually finding evidence in and of itself. Uh, of all the detectives nearby, Posh and Techie uh, specialize in analysis. Let's have Posh take a look. Eight hours remaining until annihilation. call it quits here for today so we're finally getting into the meat of uh, meat and potatoes of the game like the actual gameplay section so I, i'm really curious to see where this goes and how this is used in future cases clearly we're just in the the prologue the tutorial case but i'm i'm super interested in seeing where this goes this is gonna be i i think really fun this is a really neat concept um for a detective game and I'm, I'm i'm excited to see where it goes but like i said we're going to do that in the next video so thank you so much for watching as always social media is down in the description like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you all in the next one but until then i'm out